Last year, in a video, I explained to you the importance of keeping the flowers, of letting the leeks flower in order to save seeds. Well, here's what has happened over the past year. During the fall season, I carefully collected my seeds, cut the flower stalks, and the leeks remained in their place throughout the winter and beyond. The following spring, starting in the early part of the month of February, the green and vibrant leeks reappeared once again. But instead of one leek per plant, there were three, so I was able to harvest two leeks each time and consume them both as asparagus and in soup. And another event happened, and it is undoubtedly the most important. I collected seeds, and you should know that some seeds fell to the ground. And in the spring, small leeks started to sprout at the base of the existing leeks, meaning we had a spontaneous seeding. What is very interesting with spontaneous seedlings is that you have leeks for the summer, which are the most developed and largest leeks. The medium-sized ones will be more for the fall, and the small ones, which are a few centimeters long, will be transplanted at the end of the season and will really be the winter leeks. Since then, there has been a small change. I removed many of the leeks as we ate them. I kept two rows because leeks are decorative and they will help me fight against the leaf miner by attracting beneficial insects and predators. So the little new thing is that I sowed wildflowers along my leeks, wildflowers that also attract beneficial insects and always in the hope of keeping away or repelling the notorious leek leaf miner. You got it, leeks are indeed tasty and truly beautiful, with occasional surprises like this one, which gave us a very, very, very pleasant surprise. The plant produced six distinct flower stalks, interestingly, one of which had seeds growing on its head, which was quite a fascinating phenomenon to observe. 